This is a game that's a tycoon simulator that I thought was quite cool, but I didn't get a chance to play it during Steam's next event. Luckily, one of you awesome fans out there went and messaged the developers and said, Hey, this is a great game for Raptor. <laughs> we mentioned it during the live stream, and I was like, Oh yeah, I wanted to play that, but unfortunately their demo's over. But now the dev has reached out via email and sent me a little, like, secret demo code to play Dave the Diver. Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to this really cool upcoming game that will hopefully soon be released on Steam that allows you to go fishing and uh, actually operate your own boat and then own an your own, like, sushi restaurant, I guess? I've seen a little bit of it, but haven't played it myself. So welcome to our first look at Dave the Diver. Hopefully there'll be a demo for this game sometime soon again on Steam. Otherwise, just add it to your wish list. This is definitely the type of game that appeals to me both with its music and of course also the art style and stuff. It's very chill, very cool. So if you've enjoyed games like, for example, Metro Hustle or Bartender Hustle, or hell, even just like The Sims and stuff, this kind of got that cool business simulator vibe, but looks nothing like those games. All right, well, let's jump in. Thanks again for leaving a like. Welcome to all the new subscribers, and let's take our first look at Dave the Diver. Here we go. Wow. Pretty. That must be Dave. I'm guessing. Oh boy. Oh no. Sir? Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was close. Oh man. Sushi. Sushimi, miso, rice, noodles, all good. The color palette is amazing. Dave the Diver! Root beer that comes in a green can? I love the hat. So Dave was on vacation at a tropical location, and now he's coming home? Not without another sip, though, Dave. You want another sip, Dave? Come on, you know you want one. There you go. Ooh. Oh, preparing for final descent. Plane crash, unfortunately? Oh no, this isn't oh. gonna be like Castaway, is it? Oh wow, we're here. Dave, you got here quickly! Well, that's our friend Cobra. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So, where'd you say the sushi was? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. Well, it's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes. Which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and get on in. Hmm, I don't have a good feeling about this. So they're saying every time we go underwater, the like biome underneath will change? Oh, well, that's just like video games. All right. Yeah, I, I absolutely love the art style. This reminds me of when we played Basement recently on the channel, kind of like a hidden underground bunker simulator, but this is much more clean. Are you, Cobra, are you on your phone? Are you subscribing? Is that what, oh no, okay. I thought he was watching the videos. Okay, let's dive. Here we go. 
A comb jelly. Hmm. Wow. It's beautiful. Nice form. All right. How about trying to stretch out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With shift, you can move quickly. Remember, this speeds up oxygen consumption. We've got like 86 seconds of oxygen. Okay. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as smooth as a manatee's. Now, let's practice using the weapon you'll uh, need in contingencies, the dagger. Try using the dagger on small fish. Use the left click button. Oh, got one. Smooth and quick. Well done. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. You aim first and then... Ah, oh, looks like you need some practice. Try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with right click, fire with left click. Now, try it out yourself. Oh, no. oh, slow motion mode, okay. Oh, we can't really aim up too high. Oh, I was close. One. Two. So essentially we're fishing with a harpoon, that's great. Three. Got him. I think you should get back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Okay. All right, so we have a knife, we have a harpoon, and we can swim faster with shift. Got it. Okay. Now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? <laughs> For sure. The soft uh, meat, fish meat with oily rice. Oh, man, it's just the best. Ah, well, listen up. I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left me a business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It's right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one kind of sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in Blue Hole, where the fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum. I'm already craving it. I bet. So... Why don't you join us on the awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Oh, <laughs> nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive and get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? I agree. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You, you just have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. I was surprised. Supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Go have a chat at the restaurant. Oh, okay. So all fish from all over the world can be found here in Blue Hole. It's a place where all types of fish are found. So our restaurant's the only one that has, like, every sushi in the world, basically. Hey, Pancho, are we ready to open? Oh, nice. Hey, what's up, guy? Hey, as you can see, it's ready and just, just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You? Are you the f oh, the fisherman that Cobra was talking about? Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh, boy. Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Is that a cat in the background? I see him. Hmm. Just as mediocre as I expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is that ends without ever tasting the beauty of Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to people. Pe peep. <laughs> There's no E there. Pip peo pull. Uh oh, earthquake. Really big earthquake. Really, really big earthquake. Duck and cover, boys. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Ah, an earthquake? Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. 
You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? <laughs> now, in the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need the ingredients. Did you bring everything? Well, I have something I just caught. Hmm. Only three fish? Well, this won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and uh, the restaurant's going to be open only in the evening. Won't that decrease sales? Well, you think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Wow, this place is absolutely wrecked. Okay, so I guess that's our goal then, is to try to sell... Oh my god, this is awesome. So we're opening our own sushi restaurant in order to make money to continuously improve the restaurant that was damaged in an earthquake. So we get to fish and do a little bit of business management, I hope. And of course, Bancho is our awesome uh, sushi set, uh, chef, so... Wow, that's hard to say. Sushi chef. Can't even say it. Sushi... Okay, I'm not going to try. It seems Bancho is really passionate about his work as a sushi chef. There we go, I got it. He may not talk about personal stuff, but the guy can talk about sushi all night. I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Wait, there was something before the earthquake? The incident? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients. Go catch seven fish first. Prepare sushi ingredients. Make 100 gold and prepare sushi ingredients. All right, let's go. Yep, I can already tell this is definitely my type of game. Love the load screen tips, too, for all sorts of information about fish and where we are. Oh, this is just the prologue, too, so that's, it. I guess, what the demo encapsulate. Okay, there we go. I was wondering where we were. Yes, so the demo must encapsulate the... Uh, Prologue. All right, let's go deep and find out what's down here. I wonder if our oxygen consumption increases with depth. Oh, there's a unique fish. Hey, there's a a chest down there. Oh, we got away. Escape pod. Oh, is that an upgrade? Electric bang stick. Oh, it's a new piece of equipment. What's this thing? Blue seashell? Okay, so there's lots of things to find down here. Can I hit this guy with the bang stick? I don't think left clicking or anything increases my... error critical depth. Probably shouldn't go any deeper. Alright, we'll have to keep in shallow waters until we get some more upgrades or something. So let's just get the little... Oh, that's the bang stick there. Okay. Maybe I can uh, bang these fish? No, they're too afraid. So we can only get the little ones for now. The big ones are just too big. Unless... Oh, right! Okay, so we gotta stun them and then catch them. Got it. No idea what that is. All right, there's another fish. Got him. Oh, that was close. Damn. No, go, go, go to the right. I will right, we'll have to go for the small ones. So hopefully there's upgrades to extend our range, extend our shooting speed. I'm sure there'll be all sorts of things. All right, we need one more fish. As long as I don't miss. There we go. Hey, there's O2 over here. Ah, oh, nice. Time extended. Let's keep exploring. A brown seashell. Hey, there's a cooking pot there. Oh, upgrades for the restaurant. 
Maybe? Black pepper. So every t oh god. Oh, whoa, an eel. Come on out, pal. Yeah, I guess I can't attack him. Damn, those fish are harder than it looks to get. Oh, that's a puffer fish. Nope. Oh, nice. Oh, a red lion fish. Okay, we gotta go up. Wait. Must. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got him. Alright, we're out of here, boys. We got lots of fish. Woo! Return to boat. Ah, oh, that was close. Not bad for a first try. I'm proud of myself. Oh. All right. Looks like you caught quite a few fish. Yeah, I sure did. Now at this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. Cobra reminds me of, uh, what's his name from uh, Uncharted? Um, damn, what's his name? Sully. He reminds me of Sully. I, I don't know if you're getting those vibes, but I definitely am. Look at the bananas on his shirt, too. Uh, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry and get things ready. Why don't you head to the bar? Prepare sushi ingredients. Oh, okay, this is nice. So not only can we find fish, like, underwater, but also probably, like, other creatures, too, like, you know, squid and things and eel, which are not necessarily fish, but then also items like spare parts and the black pepper that we found, for example. Although it doesn't list that, but... Cool. Temp 21C. Ooh, the water could get colder? Oh, yeah, there we go. Cooking materials. We found black pepper and tons of other fish. Good. Go to fish tank. Uh, wrap up your day and get things ready at the sushi restaurant. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before dinner hours start. Okay, so we can dive twice. But I guess for this purpose, we're going to go back to the... Uh, back to the restaurant. Oh, dude, I love the art style. I love those drawings and stuff. That's so good. How are the preparations coming along? Hmm... I think we're mostly set. Well, that's good. Here's to start a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. Why? Well, I, I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and the serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Um, I, I've never worked in a restaurant before. Well, the guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Wait, no, I, hold on. I just want to take in the vibe of this place for a second. I love it. Except for the whole destroyed bar and stuff. Wait a minute. It looks like we can set the menu. We can do research. We can hire staff. And we can also modify the interior. So this is definitely a management simulator for sure. For sure. All right, four for the ingredients. Here you can check your fish, props, sauces, and all the other materials you have. Uh, from, for now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Press C to close the ingredients window. Oh, dude, it tells us all the things about all the different fish we captured. Nice. Okay, C to close. All right, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu one new recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers and there's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier so try registering that to the menu register a dish to the menu oh look nice we got green tea uh, norimaki I've never heard of that and also dude you know what's really good I love myself some good old sake the mushroom earthy type I love that all right, let's see. Pyramid buttery fish sushi. Oh, butterfly fish. Mm, butter. All right, let's go with that one. Wait, we can enhance with control? Oh, it doesn't let me do it. All right, we'll add that to the menu then. All right, it probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat. Only food on the menu can be sold. 
If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of dishes, so try that when you have enough ingredients. Try filling the rest of the items on the menu. Now then, let's take a look at how you can deliver the food. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to slate my thirst. Hmm. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? No. Only soft drinks, I think. Ah. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Oh, there's a mini game. Or just the right amount. Sometimes customers will order drinks. Press S to pour green tea to the right amount. Okay, so we got a fill line there. Go right about there. Oh, not bad. Ah, as expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. Uh, the tea's really got my appetite going. Is there some, something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Wait until the cooking is done. Oh, he's making the sushi right now. Cool, so we actually get to be at the restaurant, too, and, like, serve customers. That's pretty sweet. Come over here to where I am and take the food. What did he order? Just, just the one thing on the menu? You could dash when serving food. Use shift to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Uh, okay. There you are. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Oh, he's on the phone. What? Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Oh, it seems like such a waste to throw it away. Bancho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for our guests on the table twice. Well, all right. Oh, can I eat it? Oh. We'll just say I ate it. It's too good to waste. Everything looks about ready. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Well, don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. All right, well, let's add a few other dishes here. So some of these sell for three. Can we see pricing? Yeah, five, three, ten. Wow, the lionfish giving us some good money. What's the uh, arrows up? Oh, enhancing. Ah. We can add another fish to it. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that was like him upgrading it. Enhance has been completed. Oh, it's like a sweet like finishing move. I love that. Wait, we gotta do that some more. Do, do it to the lionfish. Oh, we gotta get four of them, okay. So we can do it with the uh, yellow tang, though. Please show the animation. Oh, he only does it once. All right. Well, we've got our, let's see, the pyramid butterfly fish sushi. We've got the yellow tang. Let's add that. Um, I guess we'll... Wait. Add ingredients. Oh, I see. So we can, inc we can increase the amount of fish in each of the dish. But I'm not sure exactly what all that means yet. Let's go with a, uh, a sea goldie. And let's go with something a little more plentiful. Looks like we got two out of one of the blue tang or the clown fish. Let's go with the clown. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, and then we've got base menu. We've got the drinks and the uh, norimaki, which is sushi made with seaweed, vinegar, and wasabi. So it's a vegetarian option. Okay. Open Bancho Sushi. Let's go. I hope we're ready. Open! So we gotta serve drinks and we gotta serve sushi. Oh boy. Uh, hi, sorry about the place being wrecked, folks. Okay, so people are already taking orders. Or giving orders. Okay, we gotta give that to you. So the faster we are, maybe the better the tip. Oh, green tea. On my way, ma'am. Oh, you can't pour more once you stop. That's it. You can only do it in one smooth pour. 
Got it. I wonder who was here first. I wasn't even paying attention. I wonder if there's ways for Boncho to be able to serve faster, too. Oh, we got a wasabi counter over there. How do we refill the wasabi? There must be farming in this game. He did mention crops, so there might be ways for us to get better rice and wasabi and um, other things like that. Oh, there's food here. Oh, we got a left click, left click, right click. Oh, we're, cl we're cleaning. Nice. I'm all about this. Yep, loving this. Absolutely loving this. There you are, sir. Ma'am, I'm coming. There you go. I love that. That's awesome. All right, anything else to clean? I think we're good. This is great. Macho sushi closed. Yeah, not bad. You earned Artisan's Flame. Perfect. Almost five stars for our first day? That is not bad, dude. For a destroyed restaurant that was damaged in an earthquake and back the same day? It's not bad. Oh, work is finally done for the day. <laughs> My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Let's try a little harder. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. A man should not feel gratification from a single... Comp from sing simple compliments. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. No. Nope. No toast? DHL? Uh-oh. Uh. Hey, that's the package that, uh, oh god. Oh boy. That's the package that Cobra wanted, I think. Yeah. Well, it, it was. Okay. Huh. Friday. Rainy. Ellie. New phone, who dis? Uh, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I was expecting a more muscular man. I can hear you, you know. Uh, in any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the Graduate School of the University of the Philippines. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay. So, what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of the blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for one each, so get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Mm, I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. Well, in any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Red ecological data. New content. Smartphone. You can use your phone to access various types of content, check your current missions, and more. Game settings can be accessed from the phone. I'm going swimming. All right, so we got some side missions. The red ecological data and, of course, the uh, main quest, too, of keeping the restaurant open. Now, it seems like fish might still be okay because they we're not, you know, killing the fish when we get them. They go into the aquarium, so anything we don't put on the menu can be used another day. All right, let's try these guys. Well, that was doing some damage. Three, three. Can you die? Wait, I don't have my stun... I don't have my stun thingy anymore. Did I not kill him? Alright, I guess they... They don't die. Anyway, oh, we got some wood now. Alright, let's just go swimming. Yeah, that takes a little bit of damage. Gotcha. So those guys, just like the, uh... Open. There we go. More pepper. All right, so just like the uh, lionfish, those do a little bit of damage. I think we're going a little too deep here. Anything over like 30 is a little too... Sir, not now. It's 
just unlocked. Okay, sir, you're being a pain. Got him. All right, we got to get out of here. I got too greedy. It's my first, second day. First day being my second day. Whew. Return to boat. Oh, we do go fishing again, though. That was just kind of the morning. All right, good. Well, we got a lionfish. That sells for a bit. And black pepper. Did you get uh, to loosen up yesterday? Mm. Well, I saw a lot of nasty fish. Won't be easy to go any deeper. Hmm. I did notice the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I just found that out, actually. Yeah. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harp? Well, how come you didn't give me the gun earlier? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Duff. How'd you get my number? Oh yeah, I guess Cobra. Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's the stocky person next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Oh, interesting. I thought divers were all thin and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Now, if you're sitting there drinking soda and like having bullets on your computer console thingy, I don't want to hear that from you. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I began a very interesting business. And now I'm in need of some weapons. Stuff I need your help. Wow, it sounds like we're doing some robbery. Strastella is the name of his uh, business. Okay, so that's what we must be able to do on the smartphone is call him. Wait, season two of Strastella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Wait, why'd that pop up? Wait, what? Okay. All right, I just discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. Okay, so now they're explaining the rules. Anything you bring out breaks, and anything you go back in with will break when you come back again, too. So wait, how's that going to work for the gun? I'd like you to make us a weapon that could be used inside. Hmm, rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. Ah, this will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Oh, so we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Okay. Oh, you'll have to prove that yourself as a diver to master this duff. Oh, well, I actually did, instead of prioritizing fish, I just got some iron and, like, some metal and stuff, so that might work. I'm not sure why I should just prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Well, since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one of rope and scrap iron. Oh. You heard him right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make one... Uh, make... Oh. We can run out of oxygen. We can use it as a strategic option, but we can only return with one item. So we won't die if we run out of oxygen. We just, like, emergency surface, which probably ain't a great thing. You'll get the bends that way. Okay. Goals then are to continuously get the uh, Weaponsmith stuff's main story. I guess we could do any of these in any order. But, of course, we also got to keep the restaurant running. We went from uh, 80... Wait, we had $100 in expenses. We were in debt. Now we're only 80 in debt. Okay. Dude, the surface looks amazing. Look at the water droplets hitting the surface of the water up there. It looks amazing, dude. What a fun game, man. All right, well, instead of going for fish, since we have plenty in the tank from our first adventure, let's do the scrap iron stuff. Oh, uh, we need the starfish. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, whoa, a katana. Can you get out of the way? There we go. Oh, nice. Fried egg jellyfish. That's what those are called? Alright. Okay, let's not uh, swim fast. Let's just go slow. I suppose we have several days to find this gun. We don't have to do it all at once. Hey, there's some rope. And there's the stuff that lady wanted. Oh, 
Oh, there's more rope and stuff down there. We might get more money for extras. And we're gonna have to go down here and then immediately surface. We're not gonna have enough oxygen to do much more. Don't you attack me, fish, over on the far right side. Okay, maybe we can surface. No, let's just... Yep, haha. <laughs> I'm just... Yep, bye. Ah, cool, we called down the escape pod. Sweet. Depressurizing. Ah, oh, cool. Alright. They actually put that into the game. That's smart. Very nice. Oh, to think you'd actually managed to bring it back. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks, pal. Well, it seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make a basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. Oh, I thought... I thought it was the other thingy. Okay. It's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. Uh, press escape to open the phone. <laughs> we actually downloaded the app. That's cool, man. I love that. Weapon shop. Basic underwater rifle. You've collected the materials. Good. Let's try to create a new weapon. Oh, God. He's got the anime doll on the... Oh, my God. What? <laughs> oh my god, dude. No way. Wow, everybody gets their own, like, cutscene for when they do stuff. I freaking love that so much, dude. Give me the gun. Oh my god, that's okay. awesome. Yeah, with a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. Okay. I've taken measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Oh, a weapon chest? Yeah, you can... You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can come in handy, you could say. Oh, uh, I'll collect the info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with blueprints won't break down underwater, you could say. Uh, in any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. What the hell just happened? You can craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. According to the weapon, a, a weapons, a certain number of times will complete a blueprint. Oh, okay. Uh, making the weapon craftable. Go hunting with powerful weapons. Weapons can be crafted multiple times. Okay, so that's going to make up for all the times that we're having trouble underwater with all those uh, critters just beating the crap out of us because, like, the harpoon and the knife kind of suck. They're literally giving us heavier firepower now. Dive number two. Not bad. We got a little bit of stuff and a red lionfish as well. And the agar. Oh, and we also got a... Uh, didn't I get a red starfish the first time? Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. Oh, I got one out of two red starfish. Excellent, so we only need one more tomorrow. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, okay, so we got our harpoon gun, so maybe that could be upgraded. A gun from Cobra. It's very old and it's been maintained very well and looks fit to use. Oh, so the melee weapon does more than the uh, harpoon gun. So we were actually doing damage to those fried egg uh, jellyfish, but they're just super, super strong, so that katana was much better we also have charms so we can get boosted that way so we get our basic harpoon melee and then a gun which is special and we can equip that anytime but time to go back to the restaurant all right let's go so there must be many other places to go yep i absolutely love this this is this is fantastic i thought it would just be basically be a rinse and repeat underwater fishing simulator but with all the characters and with the uh, world resetting every time, it's almost like a dungeon crawler where every time you go underwater, the whole underwater world is different. The things you can get are different. And of course, the more we upgrade and do stuff, the deeper we'll probably be able to go. That is good times. All right, time to open the restaurant again, I suppose, and serve our customers soon. Dave the Diver. I love it, man. I want to kind of explore this game some more in the demo, but honestly, I don't even want to spoil it for myself before I get my hands on the full game. I love this. The art style, the attention to detail on certain things, the fun uh, pixel style, the story, it's kind of just the whole premise, the atmosphere, the vibe I'm getting. Cool. This is this is definitely a game that I feel is like made for me. You know what I mean? So that's cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching today's video. We'll be back for more Dave the Diver upon its full release, hopefully sometime soon. The devs did a great job on this game so far, and that was just kind of a demo. So pretty great, good, and it's a great starting point for a really fun 
tycoon game with an interesting story, good combat, and lots of fun in planning out your business. That I like. All right, guys, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for leaving a like down below. Thanks for all your awesome comments, and I'll see you all soon. Thank you guys for being awesome. See you next time. Goodbye.